somebody's uh, 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 financials. It just happened. It just came in the mail. I don't know how it came in the mail, but, but a church in this community with the same number of people, uh, uh, the same amount of income, got their finance. Somebody sent it to us. Uh, that was working with the same bank. Same bank says yes to you, but no to us. There's just some things you don't know. You've got to understand that in the midst of that, you better name that Jesus. Because in the midst of when things are changing, the only thing you can hang on is Jesus. The only one you can call on is Jesus. When somebody is mistreating you, when somebody is being prejudiced toward you, when somebody is not doing fair by you, and you have the evidence for that, and you can call the FDIC and say, go get them. And after they finish the investigation, they say, well, we can't do anything about it. You better call on Jesus. Can I talk this morning? So you got to understand some things. You got to understand some things that, that in the midst of that, you, you, you got to say, okay, all right. At the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, in the middle of the day, though you slay me yet, will I trust you? Come on. I'm still going to call this Jesus, no matter, because I'm never going to let the enemy name my change. <laughs> I told the 11 o'clock last week, never let the enemy name your change. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, no, whatever you're having to come up against, you call it Jesus. <laughs> Why? Because Jesus will provide. Why? Because Jesus will heal. Why? Because he will deliver. Why? No matter what I'm dealing with, I'm going to call this thing Jesus. May not have no money right now, but it's Jesus. Because Jesus is the one that can turn this thing around. Abiding with God sets you up for revelation, resources, and rewards. It also sets you up for God to push you into your future. But it won't be easy. I ain't worried about it. Come on. Fill me up. Fill me up. I ain't.